everybody. Hi, it's Mrs. Hermson. Welcome to Mrs. Hermson's Fun House. Yep, another day, another exciting project. Today, we're going to do package tape. Yep, you heard it right. Package tape transfers. You remember all that we did to try to get those transfers to work using Mod Podge and acrylic and all that stuff? Well, I found an easier way because I've had some time while social distancing, staying away from all my friends, I'm able to do some research, and I found some uh, uh, quick and easy process on how to do a really cool looking transfer. As a matter of fact, look at, I put one on gold leaf, um, kinda done right, kinda, you know, this was during the experimental phases, but it, it worked for me. So today, I'm going to take this photograph of my daughter Victoria, and I am gonna try a package tape transfer. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this is. So, I have with me a wooden spoon. I have a scissor, a pair of scissors, and I have some packing tape, okay? I printed this on recycled 20 pound laser inkjet paper. Or laser, yeah, laser ink paper. Package tape, ready? Take a piece, make sure I coat my entire picture Put it down nice and flat okay that only covered one little section of my picture so now I'm putting down another piece of back okay nice and flat can't be any bubbles okay oh here we go okay piece number two now piece number three I coated my entire picture and I have to say I got the packing tape down nice and flat looking good wooden spoon or something that has sort of a flat edge and I am making sure that tape is really adhering to my picture because my objective is I want to lift the ink off of the laser jet paper and onto my tape. You might hear some beeping, ring, ringing or whatever you want to call it. That's from my computer that's over there on the other side of the table. Those are all the emails that keep coming in. Yep, lots of people need to correspond during this time of social distancing. We are in maybe day, I don't know, 12 of the coronavirus, something like that. Um, my kids are getting a little antsy. One goes to the University of Delaware and she's doing an on online class right now. My other two kids went out in their masks down to a doctor's office because my son my son needs some medication, but he cannot go anywhere near the office. So my daughter is helping him, my other daughter. All right, and I am now pretty much done, I think, adhering my tape to the picture, okay? So objective now, now I have to dampen the paper with water and hope that I can rub the pulp of the paper, all right, off the back of the image and see if it transfers over. By the way, before I go over to my sink, I am going to cut around my picture, okay? So I end up with that. I'm gonna go damp in the back, I'm gonna rub the pulp off the back, and let's see what we come up with, okay? Come on, let's go do it. Hey kids, welcome over to my kitchen counter. All right, in this bowl, I put a little bit of water. I'm gonna take my image and I'm going to uh, put the image into the bowl, okay? I'm not gonna soak it for too long because I found that uh, it may go awry if I soak it for too long. So anyway, here's what my picture looks like. Okay, a little water on the back. Now what I'm hoping happens, if I put this down, I'm rubbing the pulp off of the back. Hopefully you can see this okay. Okay, I'm rubbing the pulp off of the back and I'm very, very hopeful if I go gentle enough that my image will transfer onto the tape. Oh no. Okay, it came off. All right, maybe Maybe I had too much water there, I'm not sure. Okay, but I got a hole in it again. Mm. 
this was a fail. Okay, this was a complete fail right here. Um, bad news for me. Bad news for me because now I have to figure this out and do this again. Hmm. Not great. Not great. Not very happy right now. All right. Let back to the drawing board. Back to the photo. Back to the package tape. Yeah. Back to some kind of board. All I know is I'm not bored. I'm very challenged right now and very excited to be having to think outside the box and do this again and again and again. Yep. I'm. I'm really excited about all that. Yep. Here we go again. Let's do it again. Yep. Not bored. Extra challenge. Okay, I just rubbed another picture down onto the package tape. You know what I'm thinking? I'm using my printer downstairs, all right? It is a laser, I think, although I might have to double check because what's interesting is I used a print that I did at school last night and that seemed to work. And I'm wondering if it's actually the ink that's that I'm using in my printer here at home that's not working. I'm going to try this again. All right, let's dip it in the water. Okay. I soaked it. All right, and I can see that the pulp is sort of reacting to the water here. Now, if when I go to rub this picture off, if it comes all the way off and doesn't stick to the um, to the package tape, then I think what it is is the type of ink that's coming out of my printer downstairs. All right, so here I go again. By the way, you didn't see this part, but I've now done this, oh, probably five times. And it worked once. And I thought it was the paper that was giving me the troubles. I thought it was the paper, but now I'm starting to think it's the ink because the one time that it worked successfully was when I used a print from school. Okay, and I use the laser jet printer and I can already see that this is coming again. There's a hole in it right here. Um, the ink is not adhering to the package tape. So I don't think it's the paper like I thought it was originally. I thought my paper weight was too heavy before and it was a bright white paper. I thought that was the problem. Doesn't seem to be the case. This seems to be an issue with the type of ink I have here which is unfortunate. All right, let's go do a test. Let me do one of the um, prints that I actually brought from school. Let me just see for the heck of it if that works. Then we will, I think I'll be able to confirm that it's the ink and not the paper. Okay guys, all right, we're gonna try this one more time. So I've been troubleshooting um, and I realized that in the last, uh, for my last projects, the failures, I think what it is is the type of ink that I'm using in the printer that I have available to me at home. So what I have determined is I've changed a bunch of the, I, I've experimented with a bunch of the different variables, different papers, different types of packing tape. None of that seemed to matter, but I think what's mattering is the kind of ink I used all right in the printer that I used to actually make the print so I had an old print done this cow I had made it at school before I left that was with that inkjet that laser printer in room 31 that has heat transfer a heat transfer element to it that's probably what the problem is so if this works we can determine that it's the kind of ink that you're using that'll make it work or not so I think you just have to experiment at home See if you get one to work, and if you do, great. If you don't, we have to wait till later. Here I go. I'm going to dip it in the water again. Dip in the water. All right. I didn't soak it completely. I'm just kind of waiting for uh, it to maybe bubble up a little bit. And then I'm going to see. Now I'm going to rub it. And I'm going to see if I get a different result. So if I'm lucky, I already, okay, I'm going to see if I get a different result. So remember, if I don't start rubbing holes in this, I can determine that 
the laser printers with that heat element, like the one we have at school, is the only way this is going to work. Okay. I don't have a hole yet. Doesn't mean I'm not going to have one, but I don't have one yet. Josh and Mia are actually over there on the other side of the kitchen. I didn't do that. I think last they're, thing. I think they're hoping that this is going to work for me. Okay, let me dip it in the water again. I'm going to wet it a little bit more. Hey boy. I'll just continue on with this one. We'll see if, uh, and as you see, that's the paper pulp getting rubbed off. In this particular print, the cow was darker, and I'm noticing he's kind of sticking around all right right now. Um, maybe I've rubbed too hard in spots. Okay. Oh, that was the oven. Making some meatball grinders. Okay. <laughs> they don't want to watch this for that long. Mia? Yeah. Okay, please. This is the problem, okay? Please if I'm at what? home doing my, my presentations, lots of criticism. Mom, stop, it's fine. All right. All right, all right, look, actually, we did rub a little hole, but we're getting something, something's ha something better is definitely happening here. All right, now this was, okay, I'm gonna go to the edges here. Told me only one is half. Oh yeah, that's right. Remember, Josh was gonna make the other eat the other half. Yeah. Me, am I in the frame? Am I in the frame? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> and your hands. How do I look? That cow just I don't know. It's... You look like someone who's been rubbing a piece of paper for five minutes. Okay, that's yeah. it's funny. Really funny. What? They're all comedians. Oh my god, they're not gonna watch this one. Mia. Mom. They're entertained Mom. by my. They're entertained by my videos. Okay, unlike the unlike the two of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why not, right, guys? What else? Are you are you gonna, what else? Are you gonna, what else? <laughs> Josh, point that back to me. Here I am. Gosh, you just on the thing. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm continuing rubbing the paper pulp off of the package tape, and I have to say of my last, um, relative to my last results, definitely you see this is working. I don't know if you can see the translucence from, from there um, or the transparency, but I got a lot of the paper pulp off and I have to say this one is, I think, a success. Um, only thing I can determine, it the paper weight didn't matter. It didn't matter that I was using the fine white, premium white copy paper. It didn't matter which type of packing tape mattered. What seems to matter is the type of printer I uh, was using. Those laser printers at school worked. I have a few examples that I can continue to, to work with, but you guys may have a printer that is appropriate, and then again, you may have the same troubles that I, I'm having at home. But I say give it a try. Make a print, try to do the package tape transfer, and I'll show you in a little bit what we're going to do after you have your finished result because really some we're going to end up with a really neat end product. Okay. Moo moo. Guys, I'm almost done rubbing off the pulp, the paper pulp. This one is really pretty good. It's actually really great. So if you guys have printers that you can use at home, give it a shot. Uh, the package tape transfer allows us to do what we did with the, if in fact you were in my the advanced class at the beginning of the year with the Mod Podge and the gold leaf, it gives a real similar result. And now you've got this transfer that you can um, incorporate into some of your other projects. This would be a great AP uh, piece and also something that might be really interesting for you to do lots of montages or collages with. Some really cool stuff to, uh, to to help facilitate mixed media projects. Okay, great option right here.
So anyway, now that I have my transfer on the package tape, um, it, it's kind of neat because it has a little bit of a teeny teeny stick left, especially if you're all prepared right after you're done with actually doing the um, rubbing the, the pulp off the back of the pa paper. Um, the, the tape will still have a little bit of a stick so you could actually adhere it down onto something. So anyway, I have some old papers laying around. Um, this one's actually from my parents' house. They live in, in Albany area, connected in New York. And uh, this is the only other one that I have since we don't get the paper. It's uh, the Fairfield County Catholic Diocese paper. I'm not quite really sure why we get this. I am Catholic, but uh, this is really the only paper I get. So I was looking through it and I'm trying to see, okay, I have this cow here. What could I do to, um, you know, find uh, maybe a background that would relate to this cow picture? And I see a bunch of different things. Here's one. Every animal deserves the chance to leave paw prints on someone's heart. That's kind of sweet. A little Hallmark party, but kind of sweet. Um, so potentially what I could do is, I could. What if I take this, okay, and I cut this paper. Oh, this is interesting too. I just saw this. As I was cutting that other one, all right, I see this picture of what looks like a cage, which is sort of interesting. Might pro prove to, oh, this is, I, I was originally going to put words in the back, but this is kind of neat. It looks almost like, like a cage for this cow, um, you know, animal cage. All right, here's what the words would kind of look like. I can kind of see them through. It looks like a montage, and that's sort of neat right here. And then I have some other options. I could cut out just different words. Like in this paper here, I saw the words uh, fat, food, fast, and food, and uh, things that would somehow relate to uh, maybe eating um, animals, uh, which some people are against, of course. Some people are for, so that could cause a little bit of a, um, you know, controversial image or it could cause a, a talking point. Um, so that might be kind of interesting. So let me take a look to see what I have here. I am going to use uh, some sort of newspaper type image imagery as, in my background because that'll look really cool when I put this see-through now transfer on top of the, the newspaper. And let's see what I come up with, okay? So actually, um, I found some words. Here's what I was looking for. Food fast helps raise awareness of world hunger. And like I said before, I kind of like this because of the controversy of eating animals, not eating animals, uh, becoming a vegetarian. Um, so in any event, I have my image of the cow. I found this in the paper and I really decided that I liked what was going on. I like the pattern of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these words and I'm going to cut them up. Okay, so I'm going to take the food fast. I'm going to take world hunger. And I'm going to go help raise and then awareness up. All right. I'm going to trim up these so that they look a little bit a little bit nicer, okay, a little bit more even. And I'm gonna play with the composition here, all right? I, so I have my image. Okay, my words. Food fast, I'm gonna, I have to see where I can awareness of I might I might keep the help raise out maybe the world hunger on the bottom let's see if I can see that now the cow's legs all right so I have to be kind of strategic in where I place things um, because I do want to be able to see I want to be able to see the words. It doesn't have to completely um, 
the words don't have to completely be in the forefront of the picture. They don't have to pop right up. I mean, as long as I know pretty much what, what my message is. And I'm also right now playing with the composition. I'm, I want to, I'm composing it strategically. I really want it to look decent. Hmm. This one's tough over here, the world hunger. Actually, I'm going to put the awareness of on the bottom. And I think the world hunger is an important piece here. So I want to make sure I can see that and I can see better. All right, at the very top of my page. Just a little more and I know it's taking me a little bit of time but you know like I said I want to be strategic and I'm trying to compose this so it looks really interesting all right I'm going to stick this down now and I may have to add some more stick because it's been a little while since I did my um, all right since I actually rubbed the background off so here's what I got going on all right I'm going to take my newspaper and cut that down now that I have it kind of where I want it. You know, since I am at home, I can burn the edges without having to worry about catching the school on fire like we did when we were there. All right, so uh, um, I don't have to worry about that, nor do I have to worry about setting the smoke alarms off. Remember I told you the story about how I set the smoke alarm off using my fog machine a few years back. Yep. One of uh, uh, Mrs. Hermson's very prideful moments uh, when the entire school of 1,500 people had to evacuate because the fog machine produced particulates. And our smoke detectors at Ludlow um, actually detect the particulates in the air. Boom, fire alarm went off. Uh, I thought to myself, can't be me. This isn't real smoke. Well, long story short, it was me. All right. So, um, what we got going on here is you can see, I think, the textures and the pattern in the back from that newspaper, the, the what look like the bars. I have the words that you see subtly, um, and it starts to uh, show some sort of message. And of course, you can see the transparency of the cow right there. So I think what we have going on is something really, really interesting. All right, I'm going to take my spoon right here. All right. take my spoon. Now I may, like I said, have to add some more of a, of a stick. I may have to figure out how to um, actually mount the transparency. I'm not sure if Mod Podge will work, but I may want to try that. And I'm going to take a solid piece of black construction paper ultimately, and I'm going to mount this piece down to that paper. You'll see the finished product as soon as I'm done. Um, I think we're on a really good path and we've produced something really, really cool. All right, so that's what we got going on so far. I have to say, that's really neat. Um, if I do say so myself. I don't have any idea why I went like that, but um, some people do it and look really cool. I don't think I'm one of them, but that is, that is the case. Um, all right, so let's go mount this and I'll show you the finished product.